Hey Fit Fam, it is Coach Rye from Team Flex. Today we're going to break down the Bikini Olympia and we're going to talk about our top uh, four basically, go over criteria a bit, go over placings, why they may have landed the way they did and what it means for you as a bikini competitor out there getting your season on, whether it's your first comp, trying to get a pro card, you're already a pro. I give you the tools, the tips, the things you need to know to do your best on stage and that's what we do on this channel all the time. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and if you like these videos, you are already hanging out with me subscribe give me a thumbs up i really appreciate it all right so here is our olympia breakdown for starters i want to start with the scorecards here okay so laura lee is our new bikini champion very big deal uh you know we've kind of talked about laura lee a lot i've predicted her to win many times before this is kind of a crazy olympia for you know um overall attendance because we had two of our top athletes Maureen and Jen who have kind of gone back and forth playing with the win there not showing up so Laura Lee has now finally taken the Olympia championship we have uh, Ash K coming in second we got Jasmine here in uh, third and then Amy coming in fourth so very interesting lineup for bikini here and this is the actual look um, real quick there was a five point difference between Laura Lee and and Ashley, and this is important to note for what we're going to talk about in this video, five point difference. If you watch the wellness video, we're talking about a one point between East and Fran. This is a five point difference. So a little bit more, uh, you know, of a, a gap here, in other words, as far as what we're looking at. So when we look at the top four, this is the real call out pictures. Okay. From prejudging, we're going to use some from finals too, to kind of highlight some points, but we have, you know, really good look overall in this top four, as far as criteria goes, which is all about symmetry, all about the hourglass shape. So taper in at the waist, development in the shoulders, development in the lower body. It creates this hourglass look. So Amy's got it. Jasmine's got it, you know. And then we obviously look at uh, Laura Lee and Ashley, and they all have it. Now, the interesting thing is they all have a very different look within the same parameters, right? So some similarities, but a lot of differences. And what I mean by that is, you know, Jasmine, she's a little bit more glute dominant, a little bit more maybe even quad dominant. So even though she's got great upper body muscles, she's got, you know, a lot of dominance in the lower body. However, still pretty symmetrical in that sense, right? And she's got a bigger lat sweep than we'll see in this lineup. So, you know, she's in the criteria fitting her own physique into the criteria and taking, you know, third at Olympia. Definitely very, very good representation of what judges want to see. Amy's got a lot of similarities. Um, I think we have seen a bit of a better Amy on stage before. She looks to me a little softer than normal. A little bit maybe watery at this point. I don't know. You know, it could just be the shots, but uh, she does not seem to be at the same condition as the other three, right? We get, you know, Jasmine over here with some of this glute cut, a little bit more ab definition, a little bit of oblique there, and Amy's kind of looking a little bit more, you know, softer in that sense where there's a little bit more fluid, I think. So that's a factor for her, no doubt. But let's look at our top two, who's Ashley K, and then, of course, Laura Lee Chap, and uh, these two here. You know, kind of get the unique opportunity. I mean, honestly, if Maureen and Jen had come, it would have been one of them that would have won this title. Uh, and then, you know, obviously they didn't compete. So Laura Lee and Ashley get an exclusive opportunity. We would have seen a different top five, right? We probably wouldn't have seen Jasmine in there. Probably, you know, maybe Amy would have been there, but maybe not. You know, we don't know because, again, Olympia and any competition for that matter is just based on who shows up that day. So here we go with Laura Lee and uh, Ashley. Now, two very different looks that are also one and two for the entire Olympia and the entire division. Okay, so Laura Lee, she's a taller athlete. She's got a little bit more of those lengthiness to her muscle, right? Where when you pack it on her frame, it looks more compacted because of her size, her height, in other words, right? Ashley, on the other hand, when she starts to pack muscle on, she starts to look a little bit thicker, you know, in those senses because she's, you know, a little bit shorter and that's just her structure. So that's what we see. And really, you could have gone either way in a lot of this, but I do want to highlight some differences here. Um, looking in the front, what we can see, right, is good shape in lower Lee's shoulders. Overall delt here, everything is good. That's a good upper body base. Ashley has the same going on. However, I do feel like Ashley's upper body can 
can tend to overpower her look depending how her pose looks. And I've seen this, you know, reviewing her at a lot of competitions throughout the years. Um, it, you know, sometimes she just kind of squares off a little bit and her upper body can look a little bit too dominant. And I think up against Laura Lee here, that's kind of what's happening. I get a little bit of a dominance factor in this pose. You know, her glutes look a little bit imbalanced in that zone compared to the upper body at this point. And she's squared off her midsection more. So she's a little bit wider looking in that point. However, you know, this is posing mostly. Uh, Laura Lee's posing in a little bit of a different way where she's getting the shoulder squaring, but she's really tapered in her waist a lot at that point, that look right with her twist. Um, and you know, her glutes here and everything, even though they're not, you know, as dominant as they could be in this lineup, right? We got a lot of dominant glutes. I mean, they're compacted to match perfectly with her upper body. So it is a look here that, you know, could be favorable to judges looking to say we want symmetry and we want muscle, but we don't want it overdone in any place. So, you know, it's easy to look at Ashley in this pose and think that she looks a little bit upper body dominant, I think. And I think anybody watching this can kind of see how you could go with that, right? Again, just a pose. Um, and, you know, Either way, both athletes are very, very symmetrical. They really have a great shape, great overall, you know, their hamstrings and quads match the glutes nicely, match the shoulders, match everything. This is a very tight front shot. I mean, it's almost that you could say you could go either way. But, you know, if we want to talk about the basics, Ashley looks to be a little bit more dominant up top and a little bit wider in the waist. These are generally two things that are not going to favor you in bikini. So, again, don't know that that's 100% what the judges scored on here. But it is a look that we could see being, um, you know, problematic. Hey, real quick, we're doing a giveaway, okay? We're doing a massive, huge giveaway, bigger than ever, for our Ultimate Competitor Coaching Package in honor of Olympia. This is 30 spots. 30 of you watching right now will win a free month of coaching with me or one of my coaches guiding you the same way we do for all of our paying clients all around the world. This is a unique opportunity to get literally top-tier, world-class coaching for free. Everything you need to be a competitor from any level if you've never done it before if you're already a pro you get this for free one month get your name on the list all you got to do is click and down in the description here and put your name and your email in and we will let you know if you win this is a huge awesome opportunity we do it every year as a give back to the bodybuilding community and i want you to win i want you to be on that list so go get that it's totally free no obligation no money nothing anytime just jump in put your name on that list and we'll let you know when you win all right back to the video. Okay, now let's take a look from the back. And this is a pre-judging photo, you guys, okay? And this is where Laura Lee takes the win, in my opinion. Um, you know, in, out of this top four, what we're looking for in the back pose is we want to see symmetry from the shoulders, uh, taper in down here into the waist, and then, you know, the lower body, we want to see some upper glute, overall glutes, and kind of that 3D effect where the tie-in here is visible. So soft separation between the glutes and the hamstrings. You want to see that on all these athletes. And now Whoever's going to exemplify that the most is generally going to win this pose. And that's the way it is. So really good structure from all these athletes, but a lot of differences, right? So let's look at Amy, right? Amy's uh, glutes kind of look a little bit off to me, right? A little bit softer, a uh, little bit kind of not just at that same muscle density. I don't know if she tried to bring them down or what. We've seen her glutes pop more than this. So it could have been a peaking thing, could have been something like that. You know, she looks good symmetry wise, not too much shoulder shape sh uh, showing there, nice taper, but the glutes are just not popping to that degree. And it could just be the development, right? So maybe needs a little bit more upper glute overall, but she does still have, you know, great representation of criteria, great physique. However, for her to climb up into first, or anywhere around there, you know, that's really what she's looking to improve at this point. Jasmine, same thing, really good shape overall, just doesn't have a lot of that upper glute dominance I don't see here, right? Like you're not getting as much upper glute pop. However, her tie and everything looks great, but her legs overall look a little bit smaller from the back, right? It almost is like her glutes are so dominant in this point um, that, you know, the upper glute is kind of atrophied, looking smaller looking, in other words, and it makes her hamstrings and her quads look a little bit undersized. So, you know, for her, it's a little bit of rebalancing the lower body shape, I think, would favor her largely on stage. Um, and then we look at our top two, 
And, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, Ashley should have won this, you know, Lord Lee, blah, blah, blah. I've seen a lot of the comments. A lot of people have even messaged me asking me to do this video. And here is the true answer. Laura Lee is clearly, um, you know, scoring better in this pose than Ashley at this point. And that's just because Ashley's glutes from the back are not as de developed as uh, Laura Lee's in this sense, okay? So if we look at Ashley's glutes and her overall shape, I still almost get a little bit of upper body dominance from her in the back, right? And like, you know, who knows what the feedback will be this time. You know, feedback can be either way and, you know, whatever, but that can be really an indicator that maybe upper body was a factor here. However, when we look from the back, just comparing Laura Lee's glutes and hamstrings and quads to um, Ashley's, what I see is just a downing of muscle, like not as much muscle on Ashley. And, you know, she has had more glute pop than this at prior competitions this season. Her upper glute looks a little bit flattened out. Her overall glutes just look a little bit depleted to me. She still has a great tie and everything here, all the shape and all the function. But however, it could have just filled out that pop a little bit more in the lower body. I think, you know, it could have been a win for her. I did predict her to win, but, you know, glutes look a little bit depleted in this shot to me. And we'll look at the ones from finals in a minute. They look different. So, you know, from prejudging to finals, maybe she ate more or something and that they increased it. But Laura Lee here, you know, very good symmetry. She's got a good shoulder shape, uh, great taper. And, you know, her upper glute is there. It's full. And her overall glute is very, very full. Tie in is popping. We're getting a lot of shadow, a lot of three dimensional effect here. And her hamstrings and her quads match very, very well. Uh, what we are focused on is the glute here. And what we see is a great tie in everything else that is a clearly more development and more pop than, you know, uh, Ashley in this sense. So Ashley, pulls into that spot i mean jasmine uh coming in third honestly is a little bit more even developed and a little bit more of that pop going on than ashley does in this lineup so again i think that's where it clearly could have been different and then we look over at amy right and amy looks a little bit less of the pop a little bit less of the development there than and she's taking fourth so again we kind of see uh whoever has the most muscle and is showing the most is doing better at this point in the lineup and that's how laura lee i think really does take the win here in this back I mean she has the development it is really showing and you know a lot of people were saying they didn't see it that way but when you look at the real competition photos you guys and I strongly encourage go on NPC news and look at them yourself don't just watch this video you will see these things I'm talking about and they make a lot of sense so night show okay finals here uh, confirmation scoring for the Olympia and what we can see is uh, you know a lot of similarities here where things started to look a bit different Ashley changed Change something from prejudge to finals and it did tighten the gap however I think at that point you know a lot of scoring had already been done a lot of things had already been seen and it wasn't enough to really pull through because Laura Lee came back looking uh, you know really dialed in on point at this point so um, Amy and Jasmine, basically same kind of stuff going on here. You know, they look very similar to how they did at prejudge. Laura Lee, I think, looked better at finals, and I think Ashley did too. And, you know, it could have tightened that gap, could have changed it, but it really didn't still. Um, but Laura Lee, you know, you can see the muscle shape here, really nice taper. This narrow waist is hugely favorable in the bikini look, and this is very favorable for her. Ashley comes in with a little bit better posing at the night show, right? A little bit more narrow in the waist, really kind of narrows the gap. It makes her her glute and her uh, shoulders match a little bit more. She also filled out her lower body just a little bit more. And I think that that was a huge advantage to her to come into stage at that point to try to close that gap in finals. And it got really close, but still not enough to pull together. If we look at the back, this is though, again, where it still just gets so much tighter, so much closer, right? Ashley's glutes at finals look better than they did at prejudging. But again, this is something that at the top level, you know, you got to have it all the time. And Laura Lee came in both just looking ahead and she looked like she was on point she looks much more balanced she's made the improvements the judge wanted her to make I mean it's there so we're looking at two different physiques with a lot of similarities but you know Ashley's glutes here at finals are popping more she's got more upper glute going on more overall glute more of this and that so I don't know you know maybe a little post pre-judge meal something like that a little more carbs in the day I don't know what it was that brought through that look but it, she should have had that at pre-judging and that may have favored her better 
better. Laura Lee, though, stay consistent. She really brought a lot of good shape and symmetry. This is what judges want to see. That shape in the shoulders, it tapers into the waist, and then the glutes that pop in. Laura Lee has had an issue with her glutes kind of before where one of them was a little bit, you know, more uh, down than the other one as far as insertion goes, things like that. And it was kind of an imbalance. She corrected it. She's made all the improvements the judges wanted her to make, and I think that that is how she pulls off uh, the win over Ash just a little bit there. And these are just, you know, points off, you guys. It's a very close competition. Now, let's take a look at just the, uh, you know, individual routine photos side by side. I think it becomes more evident here, okay? And now there's something I want to talk a little bit more about that we didn't talk too much about yet, which is condition. So Laura Lee does have just a slight bit better conditioning than Ashley in a way, right? Like you can see here mainly in the glutes um, and, you know, the quads. Let's look here. So this glute cut, this going on here is not the same for Ashley, right? It's a little bit different. So that's an indicator of not being as filled out in the glute for Ashley, but also maybe just a tad, you know, uh, not as conditioned. So that can play a factor. They both have really good lines in the oblique and the abdominals and all this. Good lines in the shoulders, everything is there. But in this shot, again, I think that, you know, Laura Lee takes the advantage by just having a little bit more muscle and a little bit more of that cutting effect going on that judges want to see in bikini division. Uh, and she does look very, very balanced where Ashley, I can still get just a tad little bit more upper body muscle look from her that, you know, you could say, okay, well, that's a little asymmetrical, maybe not, you know, but it's very, very close. Either way, these are two really good examples of bikini criteria, two very all-star, you know, uh, bikini champions that you really, you can't go wrong with either one. If you like either look, I mean, that's great. There's going to be two camps of people. Pick your favorite and try, you know, to represent yourself within your own body as best you can within the criteria because they're both really, really good examples. And you could have gone either way at Olympia. Now, looking in the back, though, this becomes very obvious again to me. I think that it becomes clear that, uh, you know, Ashley's glutes were not as as um, you know, they just didn't have that pop factor as much as they could have at this event here at, you know, finals at prejudging. And that makes a big difference. We have seen Ashley's glutes pop more than this. I think that, you know, maybe she needed to fill out a little more, whatever. Laura Lee though, brought it through. It's there. She's got the upper glute. She's got overall glute, the tie and everything there and a good like 3d effect to the glutes. And, you know, this to me is a clear indication with Ashley and Laura Lee both being one and two. This is a clear indication that, uh, judges are all about the shape right now. They're all about the hourglass. They're all about bringing that in, bringing the conditioning through, trying to showcase the muscle as much as you can, which is how Laura Lee gets ahead a bit right here uh, in this pose. She's got a little bit more of that muscle in the glute, specifically in the tie-in, and a little bit more of that 3D effect. That's what you need to be focused on as a bikini competitor if you want to bring your best to stage. Both really great physiques, both in a really good spot, and you know it would be awesome to see Ashley come back eventually and win the Olympia title again. I was rooting for her this time but I think that that is you know the clear biggest difference is going to be in their glutes here one of them has a lot more 3d effect a lot more filled out in other words but still matching symmetry wise and one looks a little bit more depleted still matches symmetry wise but looks a little bit more depleted and I think that that's the main factor that really brought it through so it will be very interesting to see what happens next because I assume you know Maureen will be back in the game next year I assume I don't know about Jen actually but I mean maybe Jen will come back either way we have a lot to talk about in Olympia Bikini. There's a lot more um, other athletes we're going to cover, other call outs, other things we're going to talk about to highlight the criteria. But I did want to make this video to highlight the differences and how Laura Lee has pulled off this win um, because a lot, a lot of people were asking me. And I do think that this was the right call from the judges in that sense for this top two. And they get Laura Lee the win. I mean, she does have the most muscle and it really shows on the physique, really balanced, very very good look overall. Um, you know, she often shows up at competitions looking like the odd person out, and I don't feel that was the case this time. I think she really did bring the best improvements in, which is also a factor in the sport. You guys, you have to remember, right? If you get feedback from judges and they say go improve this, and then you do that, that's going to score you favorably, right? You'll be able to do, you know, do that because that's going to actually help you on stage. You know, it's not just to get feedback and say okay, well, whatever. It's if you actually go apply it, that makes you better. On on stage so no doubt the top olympians are getting feedback and they're spending a year sometimes even you know trying to really apply that feedback perfect that look and bring it through to stage so laura lee is the new bikini standard and it does fit and it makes sense 
And, you know, Ashley is, again, the bikini standard as well. You can't go wrong with uh, the most winning bikini pro of all time. And we're talking about just points of difference between these two. So that's where we're at. Two great representations of what you should be focused on in this sport. Bring your best shape. Bring your best hourglass. And bring as much muscle as you can on that frame within balance. That's going to be really favorable. And I think that's a clear message from judges here. All right. So thank you guys for watching. we got plenty more Olympia coverage coming. Uh, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, let me know what you think, and we'll be back with more soon. Thanks for watching. Coach Rack is out.